Hey, Grand Rising, Grand Rising. This is your brother, Chief Kalinago. I'm here in um, Lincoln Terrace Park, you know, just, um, I've been here since about 6.30. Did sun gazing for like about probably 20, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Uh, then just finished my workout doing the bars, you know, the pull-ups, etc., etc. But just a little while ago, I would say about half an hour ago, you know, this is like, um, you know, the grounds, you know, where they play, you know, baseball, you know, soccer, whatever the case is. But the reason why I'm showing you this is you see the tracks, right? I'm not sure if you're able to see the marks here going along right here. You see the marks? They're tire marks, right? So you have one set here and then you have another set right here, right? That's a tractor that came here to kind of like cut the grass. I could still smell the fresh cut of the grass. The reason why I'm putting this out is because, right, I've been living in this area, just this area alone for over 30 years, right? And that's in Brooklyn, you know, Lincoln Terrace, right? Right by East New York and, um, what, and East New York and East 95th, right? And a lot of so-called white people have been moving in. I mean, of course, for a very long time, but now, you know, um, gentrification is, is, is at a high, right? Here in Brooklyn. So, long story short, I have never seen any tractor come and cut the grass. Now, I'm not saying it's, it's never happened, but I've never seen it. And I work out here, I've been working out in this park for over 30 years, and I've, I haven't seen it, right? But they have a little sporting event. It looked like they're about to do a sporting event right here because, you know, they're setting up. So, they had um, the grass cut, you know what I mean? you know it's so-called white people they're not white so I'm saying so-called white people they have their dogs etc 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 you know what I mean they come out you know every morning yes I said morning right but look they're setting up to play it look like it's like a baseball game I don't know what they're playing but they're setting up for a little game with their communities and their children why am I saying all this I'm saying all this is because you see the reason why things aren't being done for us and when I say us, I'm talking about the so-called black people. I'm saying so-called because we ain't black. At least I'm not black. You see what I'm saying? And that's the reason why you'll be lacking. Because you have no unity. You have no community. You see, you have neighborhoods. You have hoods. And everybody fighting for hoods. Nobody's fighting for a community. Because in a community, that's what it stands for. The ability to commune with a unit or within a unit or with unity hence you have the word community that's what it means so we are lacking that we are be lacking that right and then when things don't happen for us oh well you know it's because i'm black like i'll pay you 500 dollars if you show me what part of your skin is black you see what i'm saying we are copper colored people and even copper colored is not a race we are copper colored people and within the copper colored race you have a different variation from light skin all the way to extremely dark copper what we call a dark brown no one is black i don't care where you're from you could be from africa you could be from the the, the, the place in africa where people say you look not nah. you get to a point where you're so dark you start to look blue that's not black you feel me it is copper you feel me but anyway that's another story i'm talking about community and unity and the reason why we are not progressing is because we are too busy fighting each other we are too busy tearing each other down we are too busy breaking each other down too much jealousy too much animosity too much hatred too much envy you feel me and these things they breed evil they breed hate and hence all people out here killing each other you know, gang banging, all these different, man, listen, man, all this negativity got to go, man. Y'all got to burn. Y'all got to die. You see what I'm saying? Because for those of who, those of us who are righteous, we are tired of the negativity, man. We are tired of the non-communion. We are tired of the non-communities. We're we tired of that. You feel me? And that's why I tell people, man, I, I'm, I'm, this walk, I'm walking alone. It doesn't mean I'm lonely. It doesn't mean that I don't vibe with a few people that's on the same frequency, but it's, it's it, the journey sometimes you got to walk alone until people meet you where you are at you feel me but I'm not gonna meet nobody where they're at man I'm not gonna digress if I'm teaching I'll meet you where you at but I'm talking in terms of my energy my space now nah, I'm not gonna bring that type of mentality in my space man because it's really sad that every other ethnic group group could come into our motherland yes our motherland because we are not Africans all right this is our motherland we are the autochthonous 
Aboriginal Americans. American is a race. Why do you think the colonizers came and called themselves American? Because why? American is a race. It's a race. You feel me? America is not just a continent. It's a race. And we ha we are the only ones who have the right to call ourselves Americans spiritually, by inheritance and birthright. We are the only ones. So everybody else, if your ancient ancestors are not from this landmass, you are literally a native because that's all a native means is to be born. That's all it means. So when you hear these people talk, oh, well, we are the natives. Yes, everybody's a native because they were born here, but they are not original. And that's the difference. You feel me? But I'm talking about the unity, man. The reason why things are not getting done. You see, these people, they have people in place to represent them. So they hold their representatives accountable. The people we have representing us, they already sold us out. And we refuse to unite and create our own representation. So when these things are being done, it's going to benefit us the same way it benefit the people who come into our land to live the American dream while the, the true Americans are living a nightmare, man. I think I said a mouthful, all right? And I'm just looking for the people, man, who are righteous, the like-minded people, people who are like me, that are willing to join me and stand and take a stand so that we could restore our birthright. Man, I'm out, man. You see that over there? You see them? And I'm not hating, though. I'm not hating. How can you hate the, the, the player? You can't hate the player. You just gotta dislike the game. That's it, and, and, and there's nothing wrong with the game if you know how to play the game. But a lot of you out here just hating the players when the players took advantage of what you're not willing to learn to take advantage of. You feel what I'm saying? And that's the problem. <laughs> yeah, right? so I'm out.